I grew up during the late 60s and 70s. That's when I started to take things in. Golf was a way for a guy to just be ridiculous. Johnny Miller, Lee Trevino, Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson. It was all about plaid, patchwork. And I wanted to dress like I saw those guys dress when I was growing up. So I found some, like, the wildest fabric I could find. I just thought, there are other guys out there like me. This is just something that's waiting to happen. Being the MBA that I was not, I figured out that if I could just sell 11 pants per day, I could replace my salary as a freelance graphic designer, and I could just do this full time. The company was just self-funded for the first six years. Second mortgage, home line of credit. I sewed, customer service, I shipped. Fortunately, there was a loudmouth customer that came along, gave me a call and said, hey, what, what are you doing here? You're spinning your wheels. Why don't you come down and we'll play a round of golf because I'm interested in your company. On the front nine, we talked about the problems that he had, supply, money, inventory. And by the end of the day, we had a little napkin deal worked out. Would he? If you put it on your computer screen, I'll figure out how to turn it into good quality pants and sell them. We found uh, a manufacturer that was willing to work with us. They were now my designs, put on fabric, printed in bulk, made by real people that make real clothes. The golf industry is a finite uh, group of people, and we thought early on that we were going to have to do something extra. Licensing started to pop up. Now we have about 25 different licensees with products all over the map, from golfing products to lifestyle products, like iPad and iPhone covers, uh, loudmouth wine, bedding and bath. This year we'll do 10 million bucks in business. I would expect royalties to be 10 to 20 percent of our business in two years. There are an infinite number of color combinations out there. There's an infinite number of shapes. I look at anything and I say, hmm, I wonder what that would look like on a pair of pants. So